Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Just Get Hired podcast. I'm your host, Jessica Fiesta George. Today's episode's gonna be a little different. I wanna share something personal because recently I was diagnosed with papillary thyroid carcinoma, which is a type of thyroid cancer. And since September is Thyroid Cancer Awareness Month, I wanted to make my last episode of the month about this topic to open up, not only to share my story, but use this platform to raise awareness. As busy professionals, we tend to put our jobs first. We often forget to listen to our bodies. I know I've been very guilty of that, but I thought this would be a great time to remind everyone about the importance of tuning into your health and not taking your PTO or your health benefits for granted. If this is the first time you're listening to the show, welcome in. This podcast is usually about helping you get hired, get noticed, get promoted in this noisy job market. We talk about career trends, job search tips, workplace topics that matter to you no matter what level in your career you're in. Today's episode is going to be a little personal, and if you've been following me for quite some time, don't worry, you guys know I'm going to be okay. Thankfully, thyroid cancer is one of the most treatable cancers, especially when they catch it early. So I want to share some of the signs, the symptoms that I'm learning about, especially as I'm going through this, and I want to share facts that you should know so that you can also stay ahead of your health. Now, it all started about a year ago. I went in for my annual checkups, and then they found a small nodule on my thyroid after doing an ultrasound. The nodule measured about one and a half centimeters, and they said to, to keep an eye out on it. So I've been walking around like this for probably over a year now. But they caught it last year. We were just observing it. And then, as most of you know, I celebrated a milestone birthday recently, and I told the doctor to check me from head to toe. Well, they did. The nodule's still there. So they did what they call a fine needle aspiration. Basically what that is, they stick a little needle in your neck to draw a sample um, to try to figure out what it is. Also, the nodule had changed in density. Um, they use what they call a TRAD scale from one to five. Basically, a five is the most severe, which means it needs to have further investigation. So mine was a five. So that's why they decided to do the biopsy and it revealed that I have papillary thyroid carcinoma. And to be honest with you, I was shocked. <laughs> In fact, I'm still shocked because I don't have the typical symptoms like they tell you to look for. They always tell you, you know, look for lumps in your neck or hoarseness in your voice. And I figured, you know, I was fine because I have small symptoms. I talk a lot. So my voice does get a little hoarse from time to time, but I don't have some of the typical symptoms. So as a side note, nodules like the one I have are actually quite common, especially for women. So if you've ever been told that you have thyroid nodules, you need to go get them checked out. But thyroid nodules are usually benign. And in some cases like mine, they need a closer look. So if you've been told that you have a nodule, go to the doctor, make sure you're getting regular checkups because you never know when that might change. One of the things that makes thyroid cancer tricky is that the symptoms can be subtle. And in many cases like mine, you don't even have symptoms at all. And that's why I'm really pushing for you guys to go get your regular checkups. It's really important. But some of the things that I'm reading about as common symptoms that you should be aware of is a lump or swelling in your neck, if you're having trouble swallowing or breathing, maybe you have hoarseness or changes in your voice, a persistent cough that isn't from a cold. Like for me, I have always had this tickle in the back of my throat and maybe it has to do with allergies, but maybe it was also that I've had this thyroid issue and I wasn't really aware of it until now. Uh, a lot of people can also experience pain that can radiate from their neck to their ears. If you have fluctuations in your weight, if you gain weight, lose weight, if you are having trouble sleeping, you're tired all the time, your hair is thinning, your nails are brittle, you have changes in your skin texture, it could be a sign that you have thyroid issues. Many times we think it's something else. So if you're kind of curious about what else might be going on, ask your doctor to check your hormone levels and your thyroid because it could be that. Now, in my case, like I said, I didn't have any of the classic symptoms like a lump or hoarseness. 
But when I look back, I really realize that I might have missed some smaller signs. I deal with insomnia. I've been dealing with that for quite some time. I blame that on stress. <laughs> I also notice that I have changes in my weight. I go up a pound or two, I lose a pound or two, and then it just goes up and down. I always think it's because I don't eat right and I don't exercise right, and that could be a part of it as well. Uh, my hair's starting to fall out, it's thinning, but you know, I'm getting older. Um, I have digestive issues, my mood swings, but really, I honestly thought, you know, I'm getting older, I work too much, I'm stressing out. All of those things are stress related illnesses. I had never thought for any reason to have my doctor check my hormone levels or my thyroid. Now, I've talked about a product that's been kind of helping me throughout this journey and really for the past year. You've heard me talking about this bottle. It's called Magic Mind, and it's really helped me regain my energy and my mental clarity. It's been helping me kind of get back on track because I've been experiencing a lot of brain fog and especially been very distracted over the last couple of weeks since my diagnosis, but it's really helped me to stay focused and stay productive throughout the day. If you're not familiar with this, Magic Mind is what they call a mental performance shot. It is filled with a lot of natural ingredients, uh, nootropics, adaptogens, essential vitamins like C and D. And those are really important because I've been focusing a lot more on my physical and mental well-being. I really love how it's helped me reduce the stress and give me this energy that I need and a steady flow throughout the day without having to drink caffeine. And everything that I'm going through right now, it's just helped me stay balanced and feel a little bit more like myself. Now, your body will try to communicate with you in so many little ways. Even if there's something serious happening inside you, it's easy for us to brush things off like those small changes within you, but it's your body telling you there's something bigger. So go get checked out and set up your appointments. Since my diagnosis, I've really had to slow down and listen, not just to my body, but to everyone around me. There's times when people around you are going to notice things that you probably don't. And so I've had to really focus on balancing work and life and family, getting back to my exercise routine, sticking to a good diet. I've actually quit drinking, which is a huge thing for me, for those of you who know me. Um, but I'm finding ways that support my health and not just my career. Honestly, I can tell you guys, it's been a wake up call. I'm still processing all of this. We are so busy doing everything at once that we forget to slow down and take care of the thing that matters the most, and that's you and your health. So trust me, if I can take this as a little reminder to slow down, I hope you can too. Look, I get it. When it comes to taking time off, you feel like it should be a luxury, like you should be going to do something fun. And usually you should. And if you're healthy, you should be able to do that. But there's also times when you feel like you have to justify to everyone in the office, especially when you have a million and one things to do on your to-do list, why you need to take time off. And we all feel guilty, even if it is just to take off for a doctor's appointment or something else, because we think that work cannot wait. And we're totally wrong when it comes to that. Let me tell you, your health cannot wait either. When you take time off, it's not just a perk. There's a reason why they give us paid time off, vacation time, sick time, whatever your company wants to call it. There's a reason why they provide health benefits. This is going to help protect you from burnout. It's going to give you the space you need to address your health concerns because it's going to snowball into something bigger if you don't take care of it. Stress is a huge factor in so many health issues and life's too short to compromise on your well-being. I shared a couple of episodes ago, I was experiencing burnout and it was really my cry for help that I needed some love and support and just time to break away. And thankfully I have a great team and a great manager who allowed me to just take some time. So if you've been putting off your doctor's appointments or ignoring those little symptoms that you think are just nagging behind the scenes, that's your sign to go take care of it and you're gonna thank yourself later. Now, I've learned so much about thyroid cancer over the last couple of weeks, but who knew that this little butterfly-shaped gland that's in front of your neck 
is slightly larger than a quarter, but oh my gosh, does it control so many things throughout your body? Your thyroid produces the hormones that regulate your heart rate, your blood pressure, your body temperature, your calcium levels. And I had no idea, but thyroid cancer is the most rapidly increasing cancer diagnosis in the United States and is the fifth most common cancer diagnosis in women. Fortunately though, survival rates are high. More than 98% of people will go on to live normal lives after their diagnosis. It is the most treated and most effective cancer. More than 98% of people will survive after their diagnosis for five plus years and can live a normal lifespan. And it is the most common, most treatable cancers there are out there. Also, I was shocked to hear this statistic, but it is most commonly diagnosed in young adults ages 20 to 39. Women are three times more likely than men to also get thyroid cancer, but it is also the number one cancer among women ages 15 to 30. So it can hit people at any age. So the more we know about thyroid issues, the more we can address them. But uh, early detection can save lives. It is a common type of cancer there is. So get your regular checkups, ask for a neck exam. Early detections can hopefully address symptoms sooner. Okay, before I let you guys go, my message to you all is pretty simple. Don't make excuses when it comes to your health, whether that's physical or mental. There's nothing at your job, I hate to tell you this, that's more important than your well-being. Go take that time off, go to the doctor, Quit relying on Dr. Google like I normally do to diagnose your symptoms. Go get that checkup. You're never going to regret taking care of yourself and you might regret putting off. Now, I want to remind you, go check out Magic Mind. It's been a great addition to my routine, magicmind.com. It's been helping me with focus, energy, and just my overall health as I'm going through all of this. You can find a link in the description below, but I don't want you to forget using this code. JGH20 for up to 48% off your first subscription or 20% off a one-time purchase. Magicmind.com. I'm telling you, it's been a game changer for me and I hope it will be for you too. If it's been a while since your annual visit, now is the time to get back on track. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it for your future. There's nothing more important than being healthy enough to enjoy all of these things that you are working so hard for. I want to thank you for tuning into this episode. I know it's different from my normal career tips and trends, but I hope this also encourages you to take a step back, prioritize your health, and use Thyroid Cancer Awareness Month, or really any month for that matter, as a reminder to check in with yourself. I'll be back next week with a guest. We're going to have more career advice and tips for you. If you like episodes like this, please subscribe, add Just Get Hired to your playlist. Follow me on all of the social media channels at Just Get Hired. If you have any comments or if you're going through something personally as well, I would love to hear that from you. So send me an email, head over to my website, justgethired.com. Until then, please take care of yourselves and I hope that you stay healthy and well. <laughs>